I certainly wish my caddy friend was here with me, but we should have some fun. I am actually seriously, I'm so anxious. I've been up, I'm already dressed, I'm showered, and it's 8.40 and the thing opens at 9. And I am right en route to be there when it opens. Yes. <laughs> it closes at 5, but honestly, I think after maybe three hours or so, um, I should be good. And then, you know, when I get home, I'll show you everything that I bought. But I'm also, you don't understand. I love Wawa. <laughs> I love it because they have the utmost, bestest, like, sandwich, little touchscreen ordering area. I mean, I remember I was in college, so we're talking like 2000. Um, you know, you order your sandwich with like a touchscreen, like iPad, before that was like a thing. And they had like a whole deli and you picked it up. I don't know why I have a fascination with Wawa, but I do. And they do breakfast sandwiches, so I totally have a bacon, egg, and cheese right now okay. and as well. So Wawa is the shit. And I got also a coffee, and their coffee station is really fun too. It's just perfect. I don't know. I am like a Wawa lover. I don't have Wawas in South Florida. So if Wawa is listening, you need to bring yourself to South Florida, please, because I love it. And, and so, yeah, I am probably, what does it say? Eight miles away. So I got to stay at my friend's house. I didn't get to actually see him, but I stayed at his house. Um, <laughs> Um, he got in really late and I left really early. So I left a little thank you note and went on my way. And yeah, alrighty. So I'll check back in when I'm entering the expo. Bye everyone. <laughs> for 10 and get one free kind of thing oh my god so much glitter I had so much fun there. and then I was most impressed with the selection of dies like if you're a card maker or like have collect a lot of dies and stamps there were so many die stands like to buy dies and stamps galore so if you're a stamper you need to find an expo near you because there are thousands of products like this to buy it was a lot it was overwhelming and it was a lot and lawn fawn and mama mama elephant and all these brands that i don't know all the names of but you know then look at this state the stand that had all of this sparkle and jewels and rhinestones i could have bought like all of it but i didn't <laughs> so much stuff stencils oh you know my fascination with stencils so I love them, uh, but the, you know what's funny though too is that I already buy so much that I kind of had a bunch of those. Then they had these die cut, like almost like cut shop 12 by 12 layouts available, like a lot of stands offered those. So I was walking around, it got, this was early in the morning, it got very, very busy come the afternoon. So I couldn't tell you the time that these were, but I will say it got much more crowded. Look at all these colored wood veneer. I mean, they had demonstrations everywhere throughout the whole thing. Um, you know, with products that they were featuring. It was totally fun. 
and different areas would sell different things. So you almost had like a price comparison, if you will, and tons of inspiration. Like these are all layouts that they just had like on black poster board all around the place. Now it's not really my style, but I can appreciate it for the beauty that it is because this is where I started out with doing scrapbooking and now, you know, my uh, tastes and my layouts have just transformed. But tons and tons of inspiration like you could have gone there and taken hundreds of pictures of just everyone else's like kind of layouts and such they featured it was a really nice um feature throughout the whole expo um there were all these like flares i mean everyone just did a really good job of displaying plenty of product i mean i'm sure they ran out of different things but you wouldn't be able to tell like look how thick everything is with just die cuts and beautiful packaging and everyone's so nice and these were like different like craft areas where you got to, you got to like do um projects they called them make em takes but you had to wait your turn um so you sat you know waited with the chair behind then there was the crop i didn't have anyone to go crop with but the whole area it looks like a football stadium worth of people cropping it was impressive and they offered also offered massages they had that was a massage like area there they had like three massage people and then this display had all like the simple story collection so that's the newest one um i think it was called like hello sunshine then they had so fancy uh so rad they had summer vibes they had life in color they had the carpe diem they had everything there um so if it was like the immediate gratification i loved it then they had these bins this is a uh, bins of paper like literally thumb through paper i think there were like 20 cents a sheet um, I could have gone crazy, but I didn't because I already know that I like current things. And so having so much paper of, you know, that I probably wouldn't use and it's older wasn't my flavor, you know, but last year it was because this is where, you know, we all start off with kind of going crazy on the good deals. But I curbed my craving for um, the massive amounts of paper that were here. But I'm just giving you a feel of like all the bins worth of paper like I did. I probably filmed a bunch more, but I obviously edited it down for you. But you can just imagine, like, just tons and tons of paper. If you need paper, go to a scrapbook expo. You can get tons of it for cheap. <laughs> but it was really fun just to be there. You know, you conversate with other women while online, and that's cool. The art impression display was so fun, too. Now, if you're a card maker, this is totally, like, your thing. For me, I don't, I have one stamp, kind of one of these that, I, that was on demo that was like a flat screen showing you because I have those watercolor markers that do well. Now this is the glitter station and it is awesome. She did, I brought all the stuff. So this is like brushable glue and then all the glitter. This is where the glitter stand was and they have dimensional glue, but the brushable glue was the coolest stuff. And you'll she's demoing it so she's showing you like a little bit and then she puts thing and she's showing you right on a photo like how she glittered up the, the brides um like roses or flowers and then put green on them um and you can apply this glue which was the impressive part and then she kept on brushing it off and then she also like highlighted the dress with the white glitter oh it was so cool so cool brought all that stuff you'll see it in my haul <laughs> so i was impressed with this product and i brought some of it now look at all of these resin pieces. Now if it wasn't three for a dollar, I probably would have went bananas. Should have made it 12 for a dollar. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you, you know, gotta know how to like grab me. So walking around, still looking at all of this stuff. I don't think I sat at that make and take because some of it I already know how to do. So if I did, I just kept on going along. Um, but these were really cool. These are the Kevin um, Oliver Color Burst or so. They had these packs, um, they had metallic finishes, they're pigment and these stamps that were really cool. So like, I love them and I watched a demo on that too. So I bought some of those as well. Um, pigment wise, I didn't buy a whole set, but I bought enough. And then look at all of this washi. Oh my gosh. I even know my planner friends would have been in heaven at the scrapbook expo. I mean, bling, bling, bling. And there's so much washi and like enamel dots and sparkles and sequences everywhere i mean look at all of that stop it stop it stop it <laughs> okay hi everyone welcome back okay i did my damage i got here at nine in the morning and it's like one o'clock right now i did plenty of laps i saw plenty of demonstrations i love so much stuff my only problem is is that truly 
while everything is here in one spot, I really think the prices though are the same that we get on every other craft site, scrapbook.com and if you know Blitzy and things like that. So I took, you know, advantage of some of the really good sales and such. So, you know, things like that really matter. But when you're in the grand scheme of things of being an all-in-one place, I think it's great. But if you're an avid shopper like me and Tuesday morning and Blitzy and scrapbook.com and free shipping codes and things like that, I think we can do just as good. Or even when you got your Michaels 40% off codes, those work well. So don't get me wrong, I did buy some stuff. So I'll do a haul once I get home. So I got like a two hour drive ahead of me. I'll do a haul. I got some fun mixed media things. I got a ton of glitter. Seriously though, like special glitter. Special, special glitter. Um, they were beautiful. And I did get some of the Dear Lizzie um, Happy Place collection and I found Better Together from Amy Tan. And I took plenty of photos. So I'm gonna be making a huge blog post about this too. So I wish that my friend Caddy was here with me, but it's okay. We did well. Talk to you later.